Discover Dubai. Discover Dubai. The luxurious hotels. The fabulous restaurants. Rejuvenating spas. Hello, I'm Thor Blizzard in Dubai, and part two of our staycation special as we discover the Park Hyatt Dubai, located alongside the Dubai Creek. And in this part, well, we'll be discovering more about the resort. We'll be capturing some of the flavors of France and Spain and the legendary boardwalk. And as for the golfing and marina activities, well, that'll be the focus of another podcast special. But right now, let's go off and enjoy breakfast. Discover Dubai. The luxurious hotels. The fabulous restaurants, rejuvenating spas. Well, it's breakfast time, having a very leisurely day, chance to relax and enjoy the food here. And a staycation when it's so hot outside for me is very much about the, the cuisine and offer. And here at the Brasserie de Park, a massive array. I'm in front of the yogurts, the Bertram Muesli, and I've just bumped into Patrick. Great talking to you the other day. For the Hi, other Phil. Day. Nice to see you again. And what a, what a breakfast uh, spread, you might say, you've got here. Yeah, what we try to do at breakfast is uh, try to have a huge uh, selection of breakfast items. Again, everything with a focus on individual portioning so that there's less wastage and then just aesthetically enhancing the whole uh, buffet experience uh, for breakfast. And moving from the yogurts and the Bertram Muesli to this section here, pastries galore. And this one is interesting. It's a Danish pastry with chocolate and berries on top. I had one of those the other day. Yeah, uh, we've actually had very good feedback on our pastry selection for breakfast. Everything made in-house and, you know, it's really fresh. And our pastry chef does a fantastic job in coming out with uh, different variations, uh, different days of the week as well. Arabic corner there, cheese around the side. And, of course, this is a uh, served buffet, so to speak. You come and select... Correct. So what we focus strongly on is that the guests don't touch any piece of equipment during breakfast, given uh, all the restrictions. So we have colleagues serving you everything that you want at breakfast. And then while you sat at the table, you can make a, a choice of uh, eggs, a wide variety of eggs and different styles, which are brought to the table for you. Correct. So uh, we also have the a la carte option on the table where guests order different types of egg selections. We have pancakes, waffles, and, you know, it's unlimited, so the guests can eat as much as they like. Unlimited, and, and the choice is unlimited. So I'm going well. to uh, take my Bertram Muesli, sit down, relax. i tell you what, some great music. We're listening to Van Morrison. Where can you listen to Van Morrison and have a great breakfast? Exactly. And you've got uh, two hours more, so enjoy your breakfast. Brilliant. Excellent. Thanks. Good to see you again. Cheers. Discover Dubai. The luxurious hotels. The fabulous restaurants. Rejuvenating spas. The sound of playing water. Well, not so much playing water, but little water fountains as I continue my discovery of the park higher. And uh, water is very much the focus of the moment because I've gone from the lagoon, the fabulous beach and lagoon alongside the creek. Great for swimming. Really enjoyed it in the early morning. And now I've gone through the building, going inland, you might say. Yes, away from the creek, not very far inland. And through a courtyard, which is very much, for me, reminiscent of Andalusia. So uh, Andalusia in Spain, influenced by the Arabs, the Moors. And I've come through an archway, underneath a walkway, into, what should we say? A plantation of palm trees, known as a nakil. And this is their second swimming pool where you've got palm trees creating some wonderful shade around the pool. And then from the palm tree set in the water to the far side and the spa here at the Park Hyatt as we continue our discovery during our fabulous staycation. Discover Dubai. The luxurious hotels. The fabulous restaurants. Rejuvenating spas. Very much. So the hotel pool, and I go back in the early days, Again, it's a sanctuary within a sanctuary. Yeah. And the beauty is with the spa. Yeah. It's not an extensive spa. There are much bigger spas in Dubai. But the attachment to the pool, it's a sanctuary. You have a treatment. So rather than just being a very confined relaxation room, you step out and you ride on a very ples- within a pleasant environment. And from that pool, I went off walking. And you've got the grass walkway, which goes in between two sets of buildings underneath a bridge. It's, it's a real bit of nature there. It's fa- fabulous. Very much, and, and we have so much land and space uh, for unique events. That was Stefan Schupak, Managing Director of the Park High at Dubai. And now we move across to Spain, so to speak, to try some tasty, tasty tapas. My staycation continues. I'm wandering around the globe, you might say, here at the uh, Park High. From uh, Thailand, I've moved west to get Spanish flavours. 
Hello, welcome Mr. Phil to Casa de Tapas. Thank you very much. Your name is? Uh, Liliana. Lili. Liliana. Where are you from? Uh, Mexico. Mexico. Yes. So uh, a bit of connection, I suppose, with uh, Spain culturally. Yes, obviously. Well, uh, to begin with, my uh, grandfather is Spanish, so we all have some uh, sort of a background of Spanish. Yeah. And definitely we speak the same language. So, Excellent, yeah. yeah. So we're here at uh, Casa de Tapas, which is part of the... Old timers of Dubai would think of the Dubai Creek Golf and Yacht Club and the Boardwalk, which has been well established. And we're slightly above the, the Boardwalk. So, what is the concept of this restaurant? So, uh, now we have the very authentic Spanish cuisine. So, the ones that you might find in the streets of Barcelona or Madrid or wow. Valencia. Yeah. And obviously, with the help of Chef Juan in the kitchen, it's a very authentic cuisine of tapas and sharing style. And, you know, with that ambience of the Spanish word. Um, it's good food and good ambience. So that's what's so good about a staycation here at the Park Hyatt, is that you don't have to travel, you don't have to get on board an aircraft. I haven't had tapas for such a long time, so I'm looking forward to your range of tapas. What can I expect? Yes, prepare to be back to Spain to begin with. We are. Um, I've got the flavour now just walking in. <laughs> All these posters of Spain here. and Of yeah, course. Music. The music. Um, a lot of my, my team also speaks Spanish. And definitely, as I told you, the food, the paella... If you the have, paella, yeah, right, yes, okay. very authentic. So, okay, bienvenido. I would so, say welcome in Spanish. Okay, thank you very much indeed. And my table's over there. Thank yeah. you. So okay. I'm going to order a selection of tapas and speak to chef a bit later on. All thank right, you, Lily. Thank, thank you so very much. much. Thank yeah, you. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Here we go. Great view overlooking the creek. Okay, it's night time, but it's dark. But you can see the bright lights of, yeah, you know, the city of Dubai. And uh, I'm looking forward to. Oh, Fly Emirates to Barcelona, so it's up there, and we've got posters of Seville, Barcelona, um, and I'm going to be making a selection of tapas, I think. Yes, tapas, why not? Discover Dubai. The luxurious hotels. The fabulous restaurants. So enjoying a really, really good selection of tapas here tonight, and uh, it's great to join uh, Chef Juan, yeah? Yes. Where, where, where in Spain are you from? I am from Valencia, Spain. Excellent. Yeah. So... Fabulous uh, selection of tapas. Talk about those in a minute. But what are the most popular dishes here? The most popular dish is uh, the paella, of course. Because, paella, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is also my my favorite dish. It's your favorite as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's from Valencia, so that's why. <laughs> so, yes. what what would be the main ingredients of the paella? Because they come in different shapes and sizes, don't they? Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. The the most important is the rice. This rice that yeah. we are using is from Valencia, and is uh, the rice absorb a lot of stock. Yeah. So that's why I have a lot of flavor inside the rice. And also you can do any paella that you want, like seafood paella, chicken paella, vegan paella. Most of the people are vegan, so that's You're why... Vegan, yeah, so it's becoming more and more popular, isn't it? Yes. Now, we've had an amazing selection of tapas, and <laughs> I think we've over-ordered because they are big tapas portions, aren't they? Yes, and also you have to, to keep a space for the dessert. That also, the dessert are very uh, fantastic. Okay, well, looking forward to that. So yeah. uh, let me have a look. I mean, I, I thought the octopus and the potatoes with the sauce was really, really nice. Yes. That was very good. Yes. And the one which has got the, uh, the eggplant and uh, peppers, a bit like the Arabic baba ganoush. Yeah, because actually more than 500 years, the Arabic people was si sitting in Spain. That's why we have a lot of influence. The Andalusia, yeah, the Moors, Andalusia, for example, yeah. So a bit of a crossover with the Arabic exactly. cuisine culture as well. Excellent. Exactly. Uh, and also the one over there, the eggplant. Oh, ah, yeah. Honey. Wow. Yeah. That's this one good. also is like a fusion from Arabic country and there Spanish country. Yeah. <laughs> so I tell you what, what's good? I mean, we're doing staycations, and you come here to the park higher and yeah. you get cuisine from different places of the world you know from from thailand to spain to uh new england and it, you don't have to travel you don't have to get a pcr exactly, test or exactly, <laughs> exactly and also we are safe here so it's fantastic <laughs> well it's a great night it's a tuesday night it's a special night as well isn't it the ladies night and uh, we make like a sangria with paella it's a set menu discover dubai the luxurious hotels the fabulous restaurants. To end off our staycation here at the, uh, the hotel, the resort, it's been a wonderful few days. To finish off, I'm going to one of the classic restaurants in Dubai, the Boardwalk. Stunning view across the creek. So I'm going back here. It's a bit, bit of a trip down memory lane. So let's go in and see what's happening. Hello, welcome to Boardwalk. Very nice, very excited to see you here. Well, it's great to be back here. You're, you're Anna, I believe. You're the manageress. Yes, my name is Anna, and I'm here for two years. 
22 years, and the restaurant itself is how many years? 26 years old restaurant. Well, there's been a few changes since I was last in here. This was more of a, a bar, I suppose, with a lot of TV screens, so now it looks very, what should we say, marine-like, nautical fish. So what's the concept now? Now it's a seafood Mediterranean restaurant, and our main focus is on seafood. Right, okay, so I've been eating quite a lot of seafood over the last few days. What else do you have on the menu? What would you recommend? I would definitely recommend you lamb chops. It's one of our signature dish, beautifully cooked lamb chops. Right, and I'm a big fan of lamb chops, so okay, I'll order that. And I think we'll have a selection of uh, starters as well. So uh, let's uh, wait for those and join you in a few minutes' time. Anna's back with us. That's been a wonderful mix of starters. We had the uh, feta cheese on the, uh, on the grilled Mediterranean uh, peppers and tomatoes we had the octopus with cucumber and i forgot to say i'm allergic to cucumber but i was like believe it anna believe no it way. i'm allergic to cucumber yeah anyway i managed to have the octopus without the cucumber and also we had burrata burrata which is some uh, heirloom tomatoes and sarah's favorite really enjoyed it yeah sarah beautiful there you go and as for those lamb chops well what can i say they were on a bed of aubergine and there was olives, tomatoes, a little bit of feta cheese and three large lamb chops which I cut into. They were so succulent. They were absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm happy to hear that you enjoyed our lamb chops so much. They were really, really good. But uh, next time I'll come back and uh, try some of the uh, seafood delights you've got. Now, the restaurant is open every day of the week? Yes, we are open every day from 12 until midnight. We are looking forward to do something in this season. Okay, so next season, something special happening here at the Boardwalk, which is one of the most fabulous restaurants, one of the ones with the biggest history and heritage in Dubai and a stunning view. So I'm just going to turn around from Anna. Thank you for joining us and thank you for uh, yeah, such a wonderful meal. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank and you. Thank you. Turning around, what a stunning view. The sun is just going down. It's a bit of cloud, which is unusual for this time of year. And, of course, some magnificent uh, yachts on either side of the marina. And there's also QD's, Quarter Decks, which is, uh, again, another long-established restaurant and uh, outlet here at, the, uh, at the, uh, the resort. And it really is a fabulous place to come for a staycation. And final bit of advice, really, don't come for one night. Don't come for two nights. Make it a minimum of three nights. Alongside the creek, a brand new, well, not a brand new destination, a destination with a lot of heritage and a great place for people who want to go on holiday whilst living in the UAE. Make it your staycation first choice. Discover Dubai. The luxurious hotels. The fabulous restaurants. Rejuvenating spas. And if you would like to have a podcast production for your organization, do get in touch with me. Drop me an email, philblizzardmedia at gmail.com.